Mother made all holy, throned upon thy knee. Evermore the almighty child and Lord we see. While with awe thou gazest on the wondrous face, blessed among all women, Mary full of grace. We bow in homage and adoration to thee, our Heavenly Mother, Queen of the Heavens, Star of the Sea, Guardian of Humanity. We greet thee and thine angel hosts, shedding beauty and blessing among men and in nature. May we serve thee and our fellow men. O Holy Lady, Mother of the World, Queen of Love and Compassion, with all our hearts, we pour out our love and devotion at thy feet, and we offer ourselves as channels of thy wondrous tenderness, as agents of thine ever-ready help. We pray thee to use us in thy holy work, that we may grow like thee, our glorious Mother. O Holy Mother, Queen of our hearts, we dedicate our lives to thy service. Ave Maria. Grazia plena. Angels and archangels, now around the maid, where the world's creator on her knees is laid, where she worship over him, God and man in one, son of highest heaven, Mary's royal son. Amen.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. May the Lord purify me that I may worthily perform his service. In the strength of the Lord, to repel all evil from this his holy altar and sanctuary. And from this house wherein we worship him. And our prayer, Heavenly Father, that he will send his holy angel to build for us a spiritual temple through which his strength and blessing may be poured forth upon his people. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brethren, let us now lay the foundation of our temple. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. We are no more strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and of the household of God, and are built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone, in whom all the building fitly framed together grows into a holy temple in the Lord and in whom ye also are builded together for an habitation of God through the Spirit. Except the Lord build the house, the labor is but lost that build it. The foundation of God standeth sure, having this seal. But everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Christ is our foundation and our chief cornerstone. O oh Lord, thou hast created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of thine own eternity. Yet often we forget the glory of our heritage and wander from the path which leads to righteousness. But thou, O oh Lord, hast made us for thyself and our hearts are ever restless till they find their rest in thee. Look with the eyes of thy love upon our manifold imperfections and pardon all our shortcomings that we may be filled with the brightness of the everlasting light and become the unspotted mirror of thy power and the image of thy goodness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, bless, preserve, and sanctify you. The Lord in his loving kindness look down upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord absolve you from all of your sins and grant you the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. With praise and with prayer shall our temple be built. To God alone be the glory. The Lord be with you, with, with thy spirit. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, 
the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. O Lord God, how excellent is thy name in all the world. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, the undivided unity, eternal, immortal, invisible, to whom be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Christe eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie eleison. Glory be to God in the highest, and on earth peace to men of good will. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, and we give thanks to thee for thy great glory, O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father, Almighty. O Lord Christ, alone born of the Father, O Lord God, indwelling light, Son of the Father, whose wisdom mightily and sweetly ordereth all things. Pour forth thy love, thou whose strength upholdeth and sustaineth all creation. Receive our prayer. Thou whose beauty shineth through the whole universe, unveil thy glory. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord. Thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, Ark Most High, in the glory of God the Father, Almighty. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. O Lord Christ, who for her wonders, humility, and purity, has exalted the Holy Lady Mary among the hosts of heaven. Grant that we, thy people, may so follow that her most noble example, that we may at the latter end be found worthy to serve thee, even as do thy holy angels, thou who livest and reignest in glory forevermore. Amen. Lord and Master, we, thy servants, continually do worship thee with heartfelt praise and thanksgiving. May our fervent adoration rise ever before thee like incense, until the light of our love becomes one with thine infinite light. Thou who livest and reignest with the Father and the Holy Ghost, one God throughout all ages of ages. Amen. Almighty God, who art the strength of them who put their trust in thee, without whom nothing is strong and nothing is holy, we command to thy fatherly goodness those who are afflicted with this pandemic in our midst. And we pray thee to strengthen and bless those who minister to them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. We praise you, O Lord, for the example and assistance given to us by thy holy martyr, St. Alban, the patron of our church throughout the world. And we pray thee that under his protection, thy church may continually serve thee in all good works. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Almighty and everlasting God, with all our hearts, we praise thee for the great glory of thy most holy Archangel Michael and all thy holy angels. We thank thee for their wonderful wisdom, their supreme strength, their radiant beauty, and as their resistless power is used always and utterly in thy service, so may we, following zealously their resplendent example, devote ourselves wholly to the helping of our brethren, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Teach us, O Lord, to see thy life in all the peoples of thine earth, and so guide the nations into the understanding of thy laws, that peace and goodwill may reign upon earth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The 
portion of scripture appointed for the epistle is taken from the ninth chapter of the book of the wisdom of Solomon, beginning at the first verse. O God of my fathers, who hast made all things with thy word, give me wisdom that sitteth by thy throne, and reject me not from among thy children. For though a man be never so perfect among the children of men, yet if thy wisdom be not with him, he shall be nothing regarded. For wisdom was with thee, which knoweth thy works, and was present when thou madest the world, and knew what was acceptable in thy sight, and right in thy commandments. O sender out of thy holy heavens, and from the throne of thy glory, that being present, she may labor with me, that I may know what is pleasing unto thee. For she knoweth and understandeth all things, and she shall lead me soberly in my doings, and preserve me in her power. So shall my works be acceptable. For who can think what the will of the Lord is, and thy counsel who have known, except thou give wisdom, and send thy Holy Spirit from above? So the ways of them who lived on the earth were reformed, and the men were taught the things that are pleasing unto thee, and were saved through wisdom. Here endeth the epistle. Thanks be to God. He that loveth wisdom loveth life, and they that seek her early shall be filled with joy. Teach me, O Lord, the way of thy statutes, and I shall keep that unto the end. Give me understanding, and I shall keep thy law, yea, I shall keep it with my whole heart. The path of the just is as a shining light, shining more and more unto the perfect day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath regarded the lowliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For he that is mighty hath magnified me, and holy is his name. Cleanse my heart and my lips, O God, who by the hand of thy seraph didst cleanse the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal from thine altar. Then thy loving kindness so purify me that I may worthily proclaim thy holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that through my heart the love of God may shine forth, and through my lips his power be made manifest. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with my spirit. Though blessed by him, there's not a burned. The Holy Gospel is taken from the first chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke, beginning at the 26th verse. Glory be to thee, O Lord. And in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto a city of Galilee named Nazareth, to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came unto her and said, Hail, thou art highly favored, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, 
Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. And behold, thou shalt bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there shall be no end. The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the Highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that which is to be born of thee shall be called Holy, the Son of God. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. Praise be to thee, O Christ. friends. Today we have a, a new system of microphones, actually a microphone now. It's a, a lapel mic or a lavalier mic and uh, we think it's going to work out much better for us than using the two mics that we had before. And I thank Bishop William for that and also for the new sound mixer which we have. Well, it's been nearly six months now since we've had a, a, a service where you could attend. We feel bad about that, but we have to do it this way for now. We have to make do. I hope you're well. If you have any problems, let us know. Bishop William said he'd be open to meeting with anyone privately. Uh, for healing, uh, so as I said, please let him know. Well, today is the day of the year when we celebrate the Assumption of Our Lady Mary. The word Assumption means taken, taken up. And so we say that she was taken up, body and soul, into the heavens. In the, Greek, in the Greek church, this is called Dormition, or the Repose of Mary. And the first writings about this, the Assumption, or the Dormition, were some apocryphal texts from the 3rd and 4th centuries. Oddly, one of the texts, called the Six Books of Dormition Apocryphon, <laughs> was associated with a sect called the Collyridans, a sect which Cardinal Epiphanes of Cyprus accused of excessive donation, devotion to Mary. <laughs> I don't know how that's possible, but I think he thought that they regarded Mary as a god. By the 8th century, John of Damascus, a Orthodox monk and priest, wrote that Mary died in the presence of the apostles, but that her tomb was opened at the request of St. Thomas, who had arrived late, and was found empty, wherefrom the apostles concluded that the body of Mary was taken up to heaven. This became the standard uh, des description of the Assumption. Where did it happen? We don't know. Some say in Ephesus and others in Jerusalem. I think Jerusalem would be likely because her, her other son James was there as head of the church after Jesus' crucifixion. Our brethren in the Roman Catholic Church teach, having completed the course of her earthly life, was assumed body and soul into heavenly glory. And this became an official dogma in 1950. But there is no explicit narrative about this in the New Testament. 
It is fortunate that the festival also coincides with the Sunday of Trinity 10, a day dedicated to the concept of devotion. For we have no greater example of devotion than the life of Mary, also called the Theotokos, or the body, or the mother of God, excuse me, the mother of God. Father Jeffrey Hodson, who was a, a well-known clairvoyant in our church, said that Mary or her representatives are present at every human birth. Rochelle and I have three children, and it is truly a tremendous experience to be present at a birth, and I think Mary must be there. And she also attends to the sick. Truly, she is the mother of us all. And her assumption indicates that we all will be assumed into heaven when the time is right. Devotion in, in the Hindu religion or in schools of yoga is considered to be one of the paths to God. It's called bhakti yoga, one of the eight arms of yoga. So devotion is something that we can give our energy to, knowing that it will have results and lead us onto the path to divinity. So we look forward to joining Mary when, it, when the time is right, when we are assumed into heaven also. And now to God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Ghost, three persons in one God, described as this justly do, all might, majesty, power, and dominion, now and forevermore. Amen. I'll now continue with the act of faith. We believe that God is love and power and truth and light, that perfect justice rules the world, that all his sons shall one day reach his feet, however far they stray. We hold the fatherhood of God, the brotherhood of man. We know that we do serve him best, but best we serve our brother man. So shall his blessing rest on us, and peace forevermore. Amen. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. We adore thee, O God, who art the source of all life and goodness, and with true and thankful hearts. We offer unto thee this token of thine own life-giving gifts bestowed upon us, thou who art the giver of all. Blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. According to immemorial custom, we now mix water with this wine, praying thee, O Lord, that we may evermore abide in Christ and he in us. We offer unto thee, O Lord, this chalice with joy and gladness. May the worship which we offer ascend before thy divine majesty as a sacrifice, pure and acceptable in thy sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen.
as this incense rises before thee, O Lord, so let our prayer be set forth in thy sight. Let thy holy angels encompass thy people, and breathe forth upon them the spirit of thy blessing. May the Lord enkindle within us the fire of his love and the flame of everlasting charity. Brethren, we have built a temple for the distribution of Christ's power. Let us now prepare a channel for its reception. And to that end, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord receive the sacrifice at thy hands and sanctify our lives in his service. We lay before thee, O Lord, these thy creatures of bread and wine, linking them spiritually with ourselves and praying thee to receive through them our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. For here we offer and present unto thee ourselves, our souls and bodies, to be a holy and continual sacrifice unto thee. May our strength be spent in thy service, and our love poured forth upon thy people, thou who livest forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them up unto the Lord. Let us give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and at all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, almighty and everlasting God. But today we chiefly praise thee for the help and example of the Holy Lady Mary, star of the sea and mother of our Lord, queen of the angels, our pattern of humility and purity. Therefore, with angels and archangels, with thrones, nominations, princes, virtues, powers, with cherubim and seraphim, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord Most High. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. O Lord, these are oblations have served as tokens and channels of our love and devotion toward thee. But now we break the link with us and with all our things, and we pray thee to purify and to hallow them as earthly channels of thy wondrous power. We desire to offer this holy sacrifice, especially for thy holy Catholic Church, for the President of the United States and all that are put in authority under him, for William, our presiding Archbishop, for all our bishops, clergy, and faithful, for those here present, and for all in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity, especially for And for those who are again about to enter this earthly life through the portal of birth, and likewise for their mothers to be, especially for. And likewise, do offer it for all those thy children who have pleased thee to deliver from the burden of the flesh, especially for.
that free to earthly toil and care, they may enjoy the felicity of thy presence, evermore praising thee in word and deed, O God everlasting, living and true. Wherefore, O Holy Lord, Father Almighty, we pray thee to look down on and accept as a channel these offerings, and with thy Holy Spirit and word to bless, approve, and ratify them, that they may become for us the most precious body and blood of thy Son. Who the day before he suffered took bread into his holy and venerable hands, with his eyes lifted up to heaven unto thee, God, his Almighty Father, giving thanks to thee, he blessed, break, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, and eat ye all of this, for this is my body. In like manner, after he had supped, taking also this noble chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to thee, he blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and drink ye all of this, for this is my blood. As oft as ye shall do these things, ye shall do them in remembrance of me. Thee we adore, O hidden splendor, thee, who in thy sacrament dost deign to be. We worship thee beneath this earthly veil, and here thy presence we devoutly hail. <clears throat> o come, all ye faithful, joyful and triumphant, O come ye, O come ye to Bethlehem, Come and behold him, monarch of the angels. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Yea, Lord, we greet thee, throne it on thine altar. Ever to thee be highest glory given. Word of the Father, splendor everlasting. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him. O come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. Wherefore, O Lord and Heavenly Father, we thy humble servants, bearing in mind the ineffable sacrifice of thy Son, do offer unto thee this, the most precious gift which thou hast bestowed upon us, in token of our love and the perfect devotion and sacrifice of our minds and hearts to thee. And we pray that thou wouldst command thy holy angel to bear our oblation to thine altar on high, there to be offered by him, who is the eternal high priest, or ever offers himself as the eternal sacrifice. And we do pray for thy servant who ministers at this altar, that meetly celebra celebrating the mysteries of the most holy body and blood of thy Son, that he may be filled with thy mighty power and blessing. Likewise, we pray thee to sanctify thy people here present with these thy heavenly gifts, and through these mysteries do thou hallow, quicken, and bless them, that both in their hearts and in their lives they may show forth thy praise and glorify thy holy name. All these things do we ask, O Father, in the name and through the mediation of thy most blessed Son. For we acknowledge and confess with our hearts and lips that by him were all things made, yea, all things both in heaven and earth. With him as in dwelling life do all things exist. 
and in him, as a transcendent glory, all things live and move and have their being. To whom with the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, be ascribed all honor and glory throughout the ages of ages. Now let us pray, following the tradition of Holy Church from old. We now say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Here do we give unto thee, O Lord, most high praise and heartfelt thanks for the wonderful grace and virtue declared in the Holy Lady Mary, our Heavenly Mother, and in all thy glorious saints from the beginning of the world who have been the choice vessels of thy grace and a shining light unto many generations. And we join with them in worship before thy great white throne, whence flow all love and light and blessing through all the worlds which thou hast made. O Son of God, who showest thyself this day upon a thousand altars, and yet art one and indivisible, in token of thy great sacrifice, to break this thy body. Pregnant by this action, ordained from of old, thy strength, thy peace, and thy blessing, which thou dost give us in this holy sacrament, may be spread abroad upon thy world. And as thou, O Lord Christ, was made known to thy disciples in the breaking of bread, so may thy many children know themselves to be one in thee, even as thou art one with the Father. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you, and with thy spirit. O Thou, who in this adorable sacrament have left us a living memorial and pledge of Thy marvelous love for mankind, and thus therein graciously draw us into wondrous and mystic communion with Thee. Grant us so to receive the sacred mysteries of Thy body and blood, that our souls may be lifted into the immensity of Thy love, and that being filled with a high endeavor, we may ever be mindful of Thine indwelling presence and breathe forth the fragrance of a holy life. Amen. Ye that desire to partake of the body of our Lord Christ, draw nigh and receive this most holy sacrament.
the veil of earthly things. Now have we communion with our Lord Jesus Christ. Soon with open face shall we behold him. And rejoicing in his glory be made like unto him. Then shall his true disciples be brought by him with exceeding joy before the presence of his Father's glory. Amen, blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our God forever and ever. Amen. And let us pray. We who have been refreshed with thy heavenly gifts do pray thee, O Lord, that thy grace may be so grafted inwardly in our hearts and may continually be made manifest in our lives. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with thy spirit. Ite misa est. Deo gracias. The peace of God which passeth all understanding. Keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Christ our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. And may the Holy Ones, whose peoples you aspire to become, show you the light you seek and give you the strong aid of their compassion and their wisdom. There is a peace that passeth understanding. It abides in the hearts of those who live in the eternal. There is a power that maketh all things new. It lives and moves in those who know the self as one. May that peace brood over you, that power uplift you, till you stand where the one initiator is invoked, until you see his star shine forth. Amen.